heading up into town. We are taking the doggies. We got some shopping to do. We got Christmas shopping. We got food shopping. What else are we doing? Um, buying me presents. Buying Kathy presents. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> What do you think? Cute. Bracelet? Uh, I don't notice anything. What? That works. I, it does. What did you get? I got some presents. You saw the furry hat. I can't say what they are. Too late. <laughs> I hope she doesn't watch the blog. She doesn't. She doesn't, so. Oh. I got a couple of good things. Uh-oh, she spotted something else. I felt a drop. It's coming. I know. It's at three o'clock. I think it's three o'clock. Is where Wheels and Waves is going to be. All back there, this whole parking lot. Right now it's just Tesla's. Kathy's going into this store for some ungodly reason. You let her loose in town and she goes nuts. You found anything else? No. Nothing? All right, Jordana, I know you're watching this, my sister Jordana. We're going to get you a gift for Christmas right now. You want to know what it is? I'm well, going to tell you. <laughs> I'm going to tell you. This is what it is. What are you doing? We got a Christmas present from Tommy, my brother. Cool. And it says open immediately, so it's not like I'm cheating or anything. You know what? It wouldn't matter. You'd open it anyway. Yeah, but you're filming, so I would be busted if I wasn't supposed to. You're open. busted no matter what you do. Watch out. The knife coming at you. And it's foam. Ooh. Apples. Pears. Pears. Alright. Mmm. Thank you, Tommy. <laughs> I'd like to say good morning, but it's not morning. I'd like to say good afternoon, so I will. This is vlog 509. Good afternoon, people. Uh, if you're new to this show, this is Fireball Malibu Vlog, and we are on episode 509, which is basically what I just said. I'm headed south out of Malibu, which is where we, uh, you know, where our main source of headquarters is. Going down to Fox Studios because I'm going to kind of an exclusive behind the scenes of uh, several movies that Fox is doing. There is an embargo on these until January, so I can't show you guys the actual footage of uh, what I'm about to see. Uh, it deals with the movie Logan, with uh, X-Men, you know, one of the X-Men guys, uh, Alien Covenant, and War of the Planet of the Apes, and a couple others. Oh, it's kind of a relaxing afternoon. Kathy's doing her own thing. She's got a couple of projects she's working on. And Kathy's my wife, in case you were wondering you know, who that is. It's a horrible, you know, 75 degree day for winter time here in December. And I'm driving the 2017 Volvo TC90, 60, TC60. I, I can never get the numbers right. But it's cool. I love it. Let's get going.
Look, it's Ryan. Everybody. We're getting on a bus. <laughs> That's how Fox rolls. We gotta get on a bus, right? Yeah. You ready? Yeah, I am okay. ready. Okay. Ryan, what's your website? All right, for iHorror.com. iHorror. This man right here knows horror. So if you have any questions about any horror movie, make a question down there in the comment section. But right now, we're not gonna see any horror stuff. No, some sci-fi though. Sci-fi, yeah. It's gonna be good. We just finished watching some incredible footage from four new Fox films that are, ha that are coming out pretty soon. Logan is one that I mentioned, A Care for Wellness, Alien Covenant, and I can't remember what the fourth one was. I left the sheet in the theater. I'll, I'll, I'll put it right here. I, I forget what the fourth one is. It's this one, whatever this one was. But they all look pretty awesome. Uh, I think they're all going to be fantastic films. Got to see quite a bit of footage, so it was, it was definitely worth coming down. Once again, a, an absolute blast uh, going over to Fox Studios. Uh, just, you know, it's, I, I feel so incredibly blessed to be able to go and hang out with very cool people doing incredible things. This time, uh, although I can't say what it is that I saw, and I saw things that are gonna blow your mind, but it's four films. Uh, Logan, which is the X-Men movie, it just just looks spectacular. The look and scope and the, the, the concept for the film, it's just gonna be rocking. But my favorite, my favorite definitely is Alien Covenant. Uh, I was there in the throes in 1979 when the first Alien movie came out in space. No one can hear you scream. Well, they can't hear you do anything with, when a movie like this comes out. But what I saw for Alien Covenant is gonna knock your socks off. And they didn't even really do that much. It was just what happened. And then War of the Planet of the Apes, of course, that's what it says. War of the Planet of the Apes, epic in scope. You know, doing some different things. Very exciting, gonna be very cool. And then the movie, A Cure for Wellness, although it's not science fiction, not adventure, it is creepy. Gonna be throwing this stuff at you from time to time and we're gonna go see these movies. Gonna let you know how, what I think. Meeting a lot of great people like Ryan. Ryan is very cool, he's Mr. Horror. So if there's anything about horror that you wanna know, put it down in the comments. I'll relate it to him, we'll get him to answer those questions. Switching gears, okay, uh, I got this in the mail. Very cool. These are some thank you notes from uh, Our Lady of Malibu. I just did a seminar not too long ago with a bunch of kids. Look what they sent me. Look at all this. Thank you notes, fireball thank you notes. So cool, I'm gonna go through all of these. I had to change my shirt. Something was sticking, Never mind. I need to, I need to prepare for this, this next part, because this is important. You know, your, your life sometimes can feel empty. Uh, and it's not necessarily that it is empty, it's just that things kind of seem that way. You know, things aren't kind of going together. Uh, but it's really, it's really about your perception. It's about what you think about those things. So, but, but let me show you what I mean. For most people, you think about things based on the fact that you're reacting to things. You see something out in the world, and then you think about it. And as you think about it, those thoughts grow, and that determines which direction you go. When in fact, the truth is, it's the other way around. We think first, and those thoughts create energy. That energy goes out and manifests exactly what we're thinking about. So if you think good things, then good things happen. If you think bad things, then bad things happen. In a way, we're addicted to worry. And the one thing you want to do is stop worrying and start having a bit of faith. 
The more faith we have, the better things get. The more joy and love we express, the better things get. So the answer to have a truly successful life is to be happy and do those things that you love. And when you can do that, then nothing else matters. Your life will no longer seem empty and it'll be full of all those things that you love. So look at your life being full of joy and joyful things will happen. Interesting, huh? That's kind of how it works. Focus on the good and you get the good. Focus on the pain and you get more of the pain. So, focus on the good. Like this vlog, and that's how we roll. And ladies and gents, vlog 509 is complete.